For the first time in our nation's history, we may have a second gentleman. Douglas Emhoff is the husband of Democratic vice presidential nominee Senator Kamala Harris. ABC 4's Nicole Newman joining us live. And Nicole, if the Biden-Harris ticket wins, Douglas will join a group of distinguished second spouses. That's right, Emily, he will. Right now, Karen Pence is the current second spouse if her husband, Vice President Mike Pence, is replaced by Democratic vice presidential nominee Senator Kamala Harris. Her husband, attorney Douglas Emhoff, will be the new second spouse. It would be the first time in our nation's history that we have a second gentleman. Prior to Mrs. Pence, several distinguished women have graced the role as second spouse. They include Barbara Bush, who served for eight years during her husband George H. Bush's vice presidency from 1981 to 1989. She would later go on to become the first lady of the United States after her husband won the election from 89 until 93. Bush, whose father was a magazine publisher, made literacy a focal point of her platform. I hated it when anyone criticized my brilliant husband, and i furious when they criticized my son. Following in her husband's footsteps, her son George W. Bush became our nation's 43rd president. He beat out Democratic nominee Al Gore, who served as vice president under Bill Clinton. While in office, Mr. Gore's wife, Tipper Gore, became a prominent advocate for mental health wellness, homelessness, and education during her husband's VP years from 1993 until 2001. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our vice president, my husband, Joe Biden. If her husband wins the 2020 election, Jill Biden will go on to follow in Mrs. Bush's shoes and becoming a first lady. Biden served as second lady from 2009 to 2017. Now, as an educator, Mrs. Biden taught English at Northern Virginia Community College during her husband's vice president terms. If he goes on to become the president, she plans to continue teaching. Live in Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.